What's going on everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and in this video today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I shampoo and wash my beard when in the shower. Now this might seem like a very easy concept to understand, you just shampoo your beard when you're in the shower. However, I feel like I do a couple of things that might help some of you guys out in the shower to help maintain and clean my beard. If any of these tips in this video help you, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing for more beard care related content. So the first thing I do when I get in the shower is rinse my beard with warm water. I let that warm water sit in my beard for a couple of minutes before I use a beard wash. That helps kind of open up your beard and let it breathe a little bit and it allows the beard wash to work that much better. So before I even get into washing my beard, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll use the Norelco One Blade. Now I know I've talked about this a couple of times on my channel, but it's a tool that I highly, highly recommend. Now that my beard's a little bit wet, the hairs are clumping together, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim up some of the hairs kind of on my chest area and neckline just to keep things a little bit cleaner. The Norelco One Blade is pretty amazing. You can use it in the shower. It's completely waterproof and soap proof and all of that stuff. It dries out really easily and it never rusts. I've had this thing for quite a while now. It's, it's actually just amazing. So this has just become part of my routine. It's kind of trimming up the neckline when I can. Even if it's a rough trim of my chest and neckline, the hairs are going in the drain and not making a mess in my bathroom. So I always try to do most of the work here if I can, obviously touch it up later. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how amazing this thing actually is and how well it trims by trimming the wolf hairs that are on my upper arm here. You guys can see as I'm kind of gliding through here, it's cutting all the hair off with ease and it cuts very, very close. So it just does a phenomenal job. Go ahead and check one of these out. I'll leave a link in my bio. All right, now that I've done all of that and the water's been sitting in my beard for a little while, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my beard. Today, I'm gonna use Scruffy Jack's Beard Wash. This is a phenomenal beard wash. One of the more unique ones that I've seen on the market. They've got a couple of awesome ingredients in here. I'll go ahead and throw them on screen so you guys can see them. However, just know that this is a phenomenal beard wash and I definitely recommend it. It is also the seven citrus scent profile, which to me smells amazing. There's almost nothing better than washing your beard with a nice strong citrus scent. It just smells really great and gives me the illusion that I'm really cleaning my beard really well just from the scent profile alone. How much shampoo or beard wash that I'm using isn't all that relevant because you may have a shorter beard or a longer beard than me and you might need more or less so just adjust accordingly but it should suds up pretty well. If you're using too little it's not going to suds up a lot and if you're using too much it's going to be way too much suds so just play it by ear. You guys can be the judge of that. So what I do is wash my beard with this stuff let it sit there for a minute. I will grab my comb. Today I'm using Chicago combs because these things are literally amazing and they're rust proof. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna rake it through my beard gently and kind of scrape up the skin underneath my beard hairs to remove and exfoliate some of those skin cells that are underneath. This is also gonna help bring blood to the surface of my skin, thus helping my beard and my skin health in general. Now, something else that I do on occasion when I feel like maybe I've gotten food in my beard or maybe I just feel like my beard is really dirty is I actually take a boar's hair bristle brush. This is Detroit Grooming's boar hair bristle brush. It's absolutely my favorite boar hair bristle brush that's out there. So if you guys wanna check that out, I will also leave the link in the description for that. So so using the boar hair bristle brush and brushing it through my beard, I am doing an extra cleaning job of the hairs themselves. So any food or debris that are in your beard are definitely gonna be pulled away now because what you're doing is you're isolating those single hairs instead of just using your hand or a comb, which is kind of going and missing some hairs. This is really getting a deep clean. And if you're someone who works outside, sweats a lot, maybe you work in a sawmill and you've got all kinds of debris in your beard, this is an excellent way to do an extra clean job and really make sure that your beard hairs are nice and clean. Now I don't do this every time, this is just something I do on occasion when I feel like my beard's a little dirty. So take that for what it is. And if you haven't tried that, go ahead and comment down in the description and let me know what you think of that process. So next, I'm gonna rinse my beard with a cooler or warm water. I always try and rinse my beard with something that's not hot to try and close those cuticles in the shafts of the hair to make sure that I'm sealing in as much moisture as possible. If you're rinsing your beard with very hot water, you're leaving those hairs open and they're not closing and sealing in moisture nearly as well as they would with a cool or warm water. So just keep that in mind. So guys, I got out of the shower, dried my beard, threw in some Scruffy Jack's beard oil and their beard balm because I didn't use any beard conditioner in the shower. So this beard balm is gonna be kind of my conditioning agent for the day and leave my beard feeling nice and full, but also not weighed down because I'm not using too many products to condition my beard. That is gonna be it for the video, guys. If you are interested in any of these products, as always, I will leave the link in the description. Thank you guys for being here. I always appreciate it. Make sure to embrace your beard and embrace the beard life. See ya.